Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. Well, my goodness, yesterday was a reminder that the bears still exist and that complacency is something that can create some really painful moves in your account if you were not prepared for this sell-off. Let's take a look at these charts today, see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today in the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you had a great evening. Um, boy, oh boy, yesterday was a pretty rough day with some technical damage showing up in a couple of the charts. So let's first take a look, see if um, some of this can make some sense. First off, I'm going to draw a line up here, and you guys know that I've been putting this up here as that potential resistance point in the chart, and we've been watching that closely. And as you can see, we certainly um, rejected that move with that bearish engulfing candle on Friday, and then that ugly follow through for um, yesterday. Notice that we broke through this support level in the chart we broke through this price support level in the chart all in one move. And that's one of the problems that we can have when a market gets so incredibly elevated. When it does snap, it snaps really hard. And I've been warning about that possibility to be careful um, of that potential. Now, this morning, we're trying to get a big upward bounce in the market. And we're trying to shake off all of this COVID worry here um, as, as we do it. So let's take a look at what we have going here. If I pull this line out from here, we know those resistance levels, price resistance levels do exist in the chart. Let's take a look right here. First off, we broke our upside trend here in the Dow. And breaking down below this um, support area in the chart, any rally back, we wanna be watching these areas for that potential that the bears could reemerge, that we bounce back up in here, those bears push back and shove us back down. If we can break back through that resistance level to the upside, then we have that possibility that we could move up into this gap. And if we move up into this gap, that's where we really are going to have to watch closely because we rally back and we're gonna run into that, kind of that double whammy of resistance. We're gonna have all of this price resistance in the chart to deal with and that uh, trend break that's going to serve as a resistance level right here in this area. So watch that closely as we bounce back up. There could be some challenges ahead. And we know that we continue to hear, um, uh, you know, U.S. restricting or trying to restrict or warning, I should not I should say, warning to U.S. folks not to travel to the U.K. and other places starting to crop back up and mask mandates going back into place and travel challenges as a result. Um, that is really um, going to weigh on the market here, particularly with these crazy um, high evaluations that we have uh, placed on these charts. So keep that in mind. Now let's take a look at our technicals. Technicals here, we certainly have some damage here in this chart. Notice that this trend right here where we broke that downtrend to the upside, we have given that up now all of a sudden in one fell swoop and we have fallen below our 50 day moving average here in the chart. Notice that our 50 day moving average, if I remove all of those drawings, notice that 50 day moving average has started to roll over. That's gonna create that additional resistance area in between that price resistance right in here and that gap above. So we still have that possibility that we could rise up into that 50 and create that failure pattern below that 50 day moving average. So we're going to have to be focused on these price resistance levels. If we take a look at the SPY, however, SPY did not suffer near as much damage. Technically, we did see um, an ugly sell off and we broke our upside trend here. There's our little upside trend. We broke that 
we broke down below that price support in the chart however we held on to the bigger price support here in the chart um, just clung to that pretty nicely yesterday and that happens to be right there at the 50-day moving average so we held on to our 50-day moving average so technically much better shape here in um, the SPY now let's take a look here as you can see this price resistance as we rally back could become significant we'll want to watch that as we rally but probably the bigger area is going to be up in this area here as we try to fill this gap and move back up into this price resistance we'll want to be watching that area up in here for that potential where the bears could um, set up to defend um, that upside move so watch that close let's take a look at the Q's now the QQQ the strongest of the indexes without a doubt um, all although we suffered a pullback um, in the Hard and we see more and more pressure being added to uh, the big tech giants we didn't really suffer all that badly here in um, the QQQ however um, I'll show you technically here we're still quite elevated let's take a look we broke some support levels in the chart and we have um, a little bit of a topping pattern that could be building here and it's just slight notice that we have maybe a shoulder over here we have created a head and then any rally back that possibility could create that next shoulder over here so let's keep an eye on that let's keep an eye on these price resistance levels as we rally back and see whether or not we're going to have the energy to push on through you have to imagine that uh, the buy the dip buyers are going to try to rush back in but there's probably so much damage in in accounts yesterday that we could see um that reaction back be a little bit less and a little bit more cautious um as we try to rally back just because of the volatility that we're seeing here in the market so be kind of careful now technically speaking we're holding up very very strong we didn't even come down here and test our 34 EMA um, um, didn't even make it down in there but one thing I will point out is even though we pulled back in this chart just keep in mind just how elevated we still are here in the tech sector and if we were to create some kind of a lower high if that were to happen just watch out below because it could be a quick move back down toward that 50-day moving average so as we rally up enjoy that rally to the upside but just realize it don't be blind to the possibility that we could slam into some price resistance and start pulling back so watch that close then let's take a look at our IWM now IWM is the weakest of the indexes and it was the first yesterday to catch a little bounce notice that we found a little price support down here on this price support level which is a good thing because had we not found that it's a pretty big hole underneath um, that support level in the chart we also have to keep in mind though that we have all of these um, lower highs and issues in this chart to deal with and this failure right up in here we failed our 50-day moving average right up in here creating that new low so our weakest index being the Russell and the technical damage here is pretty substantial so we'll want to watch that carefully any rally back as we start pushing up into resistance levels or excuse me price resistance levels in this chart we push up into that big ugly black candle we've got um, resistance levels up in here we've got a lot of price congestion in here to deal with in IWM and I got to tell you guys I highly suspect that any rally back will just set up that opportunity here in IWM that we're going to roll back down and test that 200 day moving average we're so close to it I just can't imagine we're not going to test that here in the very near future so watch that closely a failure of the 50 typically creates a test at some point in time of the 200 day moving average so we may not be done here with some of the damage um, and repairing some of this damage could take some time and be considerably volatile when we speak of volatility let's take a look at that VIX 
And oh my goodness, the VIX really popped hard yesterday. But we did get that nice little pullback toward the end of the day as we saw a little bit of buying come in. Let's take note here that we have a big old downtrend and luckily we didn't break that downtrend, but we did break the shorter term downtrend to the upside here. Um, so we do have some problems here in this chart and this fear that crept up in here. Um, and when we look at a 22 handle in the VIX, we have to know that the volatility um, of that means that price action could be pretty challenging. We could see big intraday gaps. We could see huge intraday whipsaws. We could see full on reversals and a complete change by the next morning. So keep in mind that this may be some very, very challenging trading as we go forward, as we sort through this volatility. Now, as I've said before, the concern that I have breaking back above this 20 handle in the VIX, we need to see that VIX push right back down and get right below it. And it's possible that could even happen today. But if we hold some kind of a higher low in here, that's where I'm going to be um, really, really concerned of that next wave of selling that could possibly come in. So watch that closely as we rest or we pull back here on that volatility. Know everyone that trades options, we're going to see those option prices extremely elevated because of this, and we're likely to see very challenging price action as a result as well. So watch that closely, and if we can get that uh, if we get those sellers to defend these resistance levels, that's where the real selling fear can come into the market. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at our T21-22. Now our T21-22 gives us the best look at a possible bounce. We have a extreme oversold condition here and T2122. Um, that gives us that hope of a bounce. But one thing I want to point out is we have had times, just like we've had times where we stick around up here in these upper areas, we've had times in the market where we stick around down here in the lower side of that. So as we bounce back up this morning, um, what I hope we don't see is just the whipsaw right back up because that just creates more volatility in the market. It would be nice if we pushed up and then done a little back and forth and set a base and then started working up, but that's not the market we're in right now. It's just an all or nothing. We either rush in or we run for the doors. There's not much of anything in between and it's creating a very, very challenging environment um, in this market. So watch that closely as um, we move along. But this is um, indicating that we are in an oversold condition and that relief rally should be um, um, should be coming around. How, how long that will be is um, the big question. You know, for example, over here, when we take a look at this, this was more of right over here, this was more of what I would term as the dead cat bounce. We drop, we hit the floor, we bounce up just temporarily and then back right back down. Now I can't say that that couldn't exist today because when we have the fear, all this fear of COVID, the new restrictions, the travel bans, the things that are starting to creep back up, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue for the market and challenge to our recovery. So could it be a dead cat bounce? Or could it be more of a sustained relief rally? That's yet to be answered. Let's watch that closely. Now, if we take a look at our T2101, one of the things we did not want to see is our market breadth increasing on a short selling wave. And so that, that wave to the downside certainly increased our market breadth, but not so much that really creates a tremendous amount of concern just yet. Notice that we're still holding this um, downtrending move in the chart. We still have this resistance right here in that market breadth. But one thing I'll warn you about, if on this buy wave today, if we see breadth really pulling back, that's got to continue to be a concern in the market um, if that continues on as we try to push up our breadth collapses. 
um, watch that closely if that were to occur that would be a little bit of a concern and maybe that hint that the recovery rally um, is not all it's cracked up to be let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today in our economic calendar we have just one thing of major concern here today and that's going to be the housing starts and permits consensus is expecting them to to perk up just a little bit we'll want to watch that closely because we know mortgage applications and things have been falling off we could certainly see um, it wouldn't be out of the question anyway to see that number pull back and of course it wouldn't be out of the question to see that number number come in above consensus as well so watch that that could create a little bit of volatility in the market just before the open so watch that close and then on our earnings calendar we are ramping up on earnings and we have more than 30 companies reporting earnings today so as we ramp up on these earnings reports let's just keep in mind that volatility is likely going to be quite high after the bell today we're going to hear from Netflix Netflix will be reporting after the bell that'll be an interesting report we've got this has been very very range bound um, for you know better part of a year um, just ranging back and forth in a wide swing zone so it could be an interesting report later on today we're going to hear from um, LA Financial today um, uh, we know um, financials overall have been struggling just a little bit so watch that closely um, CMG CMG will be reporting today keep an eye on that and by the way I'm not going to go over all of the um, notables here this morning um, to save some time so if you want to catch the uh, full list of notables make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that will take you back to um, the blog where you can get that full list of notables we're going to also hear from Halliburton today Energies have been selling off, and we're going to be hearing from airlines today. UAL will be reporting, and they have certainly been selling off with the threat of the return of COVID. So keep an eye on that. And UBS reported strong results this morning. It is gapping up. You can see gapping up. This has been an ugly little downtrend. Watch that closely as um, we react to that earnings event here in UBS today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful to you, please make sure to click that thumbs up button. Leave those brief comments. It's the engagement with the, with the video that makes the difference, helps the algorithm to show these videos to more folks. And you can also help out a ton by clicking that share button and sharing these videos out on your social media feed. And I wanna say thanks to everyone who does do that. It helps a lot. Channel continues to grow and I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at, um, at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And oh, by the way, I just uh, shout out to those folks who, who have been clicking that buy me a coffee link below the title of the video. Um, thank you so much for those of you supporting the channel that way. Big shout out to, to everyone who does do that. Um, um, thank you, thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. And remember that as I show you these, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You have to make sure and do your own due diligence in these trades. One of the places that you might want to be looking for the possible short trades, let's take a look at energy. Um, energy sector has really fallen off. We know OPEC has come to a deal. Um, production um, increases are on the way that could moderate some of these energy prices and you can see we have some ugly trends um, we do have a little bit of support here on XLE I would watch for a potential bounce and then that next selling wave back to the downside notice that 
we are well below our 50 day moving average and any rally back um, could easily send us back down toward that 200 day. So if you're looking for some short trades, energy might be a place to look. Another place that might be um, a place to look would be the financials. Um, financials are not looking very good here. Uh, failing their 50 day, notice that that 50 day moving average is flattening and rolling over. Not a good sign for those financials. So watch for any rally back up in here and that possibility that we can continue that failure pattern to the downside. Keep a close eye on that. Um, for bullish trades, take a look at some of the COVID worry stocks. COVID stocks like um, Chewy. Chewy had a nice bounce back yesterday. If COVID is coming back, we could see some of these, uh, these stocks start to pick back up. Now, notice this pattern that I'm showing in here. I'm going to go to to a weekly chart, it might help you see this a little bit better. Does anyone see this potential inverted head and shoulders pattern that is forming here on Chewy? So keep a close eye on that. If this continues that little bit of a rally back to the upside, if we can break through that neckline of this chart, um, watch that closely, Chewy picking up. Another chart that is showing a little bit of bounce back, um, take a look at Roku. Roku putting in a cup and handle type pattern. Notice we've got a nice little cup and we're handling out here in that possibility that this could push on through to the upside um, in the chart with fears of COVID and everyone maybe having to stay home again. Um, hopefully that doesn't occur, but watch that closely, that possibility of that pop back through to the upside um, in Roku might be worth keeping an eye on. Um, other places that you might want to be looking, take a look at Peloton. Uh, Peloton uh, perked up nicely yesterday. Um, this, this is a weekly chart. Let's go to the daily. Perked up nicely yesterday and we can kind of see that pattern here as well. There's that inverted head and shoulders pattern and if we look at that on the weekly it's very very clear to see and if we were to break this neckline up here um, in that inverted head and shoulders pattern then we have some upside opportunity here in peloton so watch that resistance level if we're going to push up in here watch that carefully um, other places that you might want to look we had a pretty substantial pullbacks in microsoft okay microsoft and Apple. Now these have been in very, very bullish upside moves and we could certainly see these rebound right back. So as we hold price support levels in here, we might bounce around in here and look for that opportunity, maybe that that could come back up. Apple, I would say Apple has been quite elevated, um, quite extended overall, but boy, yesterday really hammered it down quite a bit. So watch this level right in here, little price support level. If we can catch a little rest in here, that possibility that we could bounce back into some of these techs. Now there are techs out there that did a little bit better than that yesterday. Take a look at NVIDIA. Um, NVIDIA had a nice little bounce back yesterday and is trying to follow through. Now remember, this is doing its split. So all of a sudden, NVIDIA prices um, ha, will be coming down dramatically here. So we've got a split um, coming here. And notice that NVIDIA is looking a little bit like a recovery wants to start here. Now we still have a downtrend in this chart that needs to be defeated, but get up here and hold. Then we've got some upside opportunity in that chart. Take a look at Oracle. Oracle held up really, really well yesterday. Just it kind of ignored overall the sell-off, holding up in a nice little consolidation pattern. Any bullishness in the market could certainly send that on higher. So keep an eye on Oracle. So there's a few charts for you to consider. Obviously, there is going to be considerable back and forth, probably considerable volatility over the next several days as we sort through this and try to deal with resistance levels above. Watch that closely. But I want to wish you all fantastic success in your trading, great results, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one, everyone.